Hello learners, welcome you to this NIS studio and a very warm welcome to the Library Information Science course at senior secondary level. Today is the last chapter of our whole uh, course that is the information retrieval system and further this information retrieval system is going to teach us the search techniques and web based search. Internet has become the biggest repository of the information in the world. It can be considered as a global library where variety of information in different languages and formats is stored in digital form. The volume of information on web is enormous and it has become rare, almost near to impossible to estimate its size. Because of its size and storing mechanism, finding relevant and precise information has become a difficult task. For searching information from the vast repository, we use search engines. There are thousands of search engines available on the internet. In our last program, we discussed the basic concepts of search techniques. Here you will learn about the various aspects of searching information on the web. Now we will be talking about what are the objectives for the lesson which we will be coming to know through learning of this lesson. The first objective for this is how we will be able to search through simple and advanced search techniques. Then how we will develop the search strings using boolean logic on a given topic. Give you the examples for the simple search and the advanced search on the internet. We will tell you the various search engines like we have Google, Yahoo, Google Scholar. Search engines on the internet in different vernacular languages. Specific search in specific categories like how we search on for the maps, images and many more and how we can modify the search strings to get the precise results. Purpose of the search. The purpose of the search is that number one, the best way to begin a search for the information is to define the information needs of the users. Then the information need is an individual or a group's desire to locate and obtain information to satisfy a conscious or a unconscious need. Comprehend User may need an overview, a comprehensive search, a quick reference or a fact or in-depth treatment of a topic. Then the fourth will be once it's decided what is needed, a source can be selected which is likely to have a desired information. A search strategy is then planned which includes various sources. There are variety and wide range of sources which are available to locate the desired information. Search engines. What are basically the search engines? The search engine is a software program that searches for websites based on the terms referred to as search terms. Internet search engines are thus the special sites on the web that are designed to locate, help us to locate the information stored on the other sites. Search engines can perform three basic tasks that is search the internet or select parts of the internet based on the important words. Keep an index of those words that they find and where they were found and finally allows the user to look for the words or the combination of the words found in the index. What are the kinds of the web search? The kinds are that information need is an individual or group's desire to locate and obtain information to satisfy the conscious or the unconscious need of the users. It's the perceived need of, for the information that leads the users to use an information retrieval system in the first place. The perceived need of the web search can be of three types that is navigational search, informational search and the transactional search. Navigational search, it's a keyword search in which the searcher wishes to go a specific website or a web page on a specific site. In other words, here the researcher, a searcher uses a web search engine to go to the website. For example, a person wishes to go to a website of the President of India. To do so, just type a query, President of India within quotes. 
in a search engine, say Google, and search on the web. The list provided by the Google contains a link to the President of India website along with the other links. Just by clicking the link, you will reach the website. The results are shown in our next screenshot. This is the screenshot, the search engine results on the Google search of the President of the India, which is showing as the Ramnath Kovind is the President of the India. Next slide is also like that only, where it's showing us the results of the President of the India on the Google search. Now coming to the informational search. Informational search, the intention of the informational search is to acquire some information, assuming it is available on the internet. This kind of search is conducted for study, research or any other purpose. Where scholarly information is acquired, for example, a person wants to find the information on the topic career in library information science. When the query is put to Google search engine on the web, it provides list of the search results, which contains references of around 396 million results from across the web. Results are shown in the, this slide. You can see there are 396 million results which are showing the careers in the library and information science. After analyzing the results, we find that the list contains reference of different websites. The websites are of academic search, commercial and any other institution as well as the organizations. Search of specialized information systems such as LCOC, that's Library of Congress, PubMed, Packs for the particular libraries also likewise, in, they all fall in this category. The screenshot shows now us that there are 42,400 hits where we are putting the particular example of careers in the library and information science. It gives us the particular means uh, now the hits are less that is 42,000 only. This is the screenshot. Now coming to the transactional search. Transactional search intends to reach a website for further interaction or some other activities. The purpose of such queries could be shopping, downloading various types of files as an image, song, movies, anything else huh? on the various webs mediating services like gaming also you can say. For example, a person can go to a website where one can buy Tickets for the aeroplane, train, bus, movie, anything. This is the screenshot where we are showing you that you can uh, do the transaction by date wise. You can, this is the screenshot for the transactional search. Now, after searching information on web for navigational and transactional search is in general nature. We can uh, search through any search engine, but the searching for the informational purpose needs certain level of knowledge and skill that's for the informational navigation now coming to the searching information on internet searching information on internet is both an art and a science one can get expertise in finding relevant information on internet information in the form of simple websites databases books maps journals articles audiovisual materials multimedia or any desired topic can be found as information in several formats is available on internet, finding through a particular type of search technique or searching with the help of one search engine is not possible. We can search information with the help of simple or advanced search techniques. We will be explaining them like this. The simple search technique is a mechanism of finding information on internet for beginners. Here, we select keywords and make a simple string or a query. This query when submitted to any search engine provides a list of references of all those sources which has these keywords in its contents. These keywords may appear in any part of the document that is title, body, text or anywhere else. As the volume of information on internet is very large, huge in number, References are provided by the search engines in simple search mechanism. For example, we can say a search was conducted on google.com with their search string career selection after senior secondary and the results shown were 4,460,000 4, 
items were shown. This is the screenshot where it's showing that 4,460,000 research results came. Now, coming to the this further, the same concept was designed as career selection after 12th and searched through the same search engine Google. The search showed about 26, 2,610,000 results. Slides are showing the results. After analyzing the result of these two searches, you can understand that even if the concepts are same, the change in keywords yields different search results. Hence, the advanced search results should be used to get the precise results. Advanced, now we are talking about the advanced search techniques. Advanced search techniques are searching mechanism which uses different parameters to get the precise search results. For example, we selected the Google Advanced. Uh, this is the link Google Advanced Search. And for our search query, career selection after senior secondary, which we are putting within the quotes. The Google Advanced Search parameters for limiting the search for getting the more relevant results. The search conducted was on the basis of these parameters. We can get the 379 million references. This is the screenshot where we are showing the results output of this string. This is also the Google uh, search where we are getting the same results. Further, the same search was redesigned and more parameters were added. The input box containing keywords of string has been shown in the screenshot that is Google Scholar. The query is career selection for senior secondary to Google Scholar using parameters. With these parameters, we got a list of about 49,000 references. It clearly shows the impact of adding more parameters provided by the advanced search engines. Boolean logic and query. Now we are coming to the third that it was simple and then we came to the uh, advanced and now we are coming to the Boolean logic and query. Let's now design a few search string and search these on the internet to see the impact of the logic. The Google has given us the guidelines for using Boolean operators. Boolean operators are AND, OR, NOT and other operators. This is the link which are, we are showing for searching on the AND and NOT. We design the same search career selection after the senior secondary OR 12th with the language parameters that was English and the region was India. We got a list of only four references which the result is showing in our next slide. You can see when we are putting the boolean operators in between the same search string how less outputs we are getting. This is showing the results. Search engines on internet. Hundreds of search engines are available on internet. There are a number of websites which provide studies and analyze about these search engines. Those are active on the internet. A list of selected search engines with their brief introduction and categories is given in this slide. Like we have a search engine Google. Google, the world's most popular search engine. Then the Yahoo. Yahoo is the search engine, second largest search engine on the web. Then coming to the LexisNexis. LexisNexis claims to be the world's large collection of public records, unpublished opinions, forms, legal news, business information, searchable archives of newspapers, public records, and many more things. Then coming to the fourth is the result point. That's search and navigation. Result point provides advanced full text search with data navigation capability, it gives users highly relevant results not possible with either traditional or search engines. Then coming to the Oracle Search Enterprise Searches. A standalone product from Oracle enables a secure, high quality, easy to use search across all enterprises of information assets. Then coming to the next that is SAP. Net Viewer Search and Classification TREX finds information in both structured and unstructured data. TREX provides SAP application with services for searching and classifying large collection of the documents. SIARC Terra text. Most data resides in semi-structured, primarily textual documents, not in structured 
organizational repositories. It is designed for text-rich data repository. VVZMO is another search engine, clustering engine developed by the scientist based on a mathematical algorithm and deep linguistic knowledge to find relationships between search terms and bring them to the light. Then Guruji.com, India, an Indian internet search engine that is focused on providing better search results to Indian consumers by leveraging proprietary algorithms and data in the Indian context. Rediff, Rediff India, India's leading internet portal for news mail, messenger, entertainment, business, mobile, e-commerce, shopping, auctions, and many more things on the Rediff India. Then coming to the Nokri.com, Nokri.com India, an Indian focused job search engine. That is, then we are coming to the next is the MESH, Medical Subject Heading. That's uh, Go PubMed also. It's a knowledge based for the medical people. Then WebMed, a source for health information, a symptom checklist, pharmacy information and a place to store personal medical information as the leading US health portal. It scores over 40 million hits per month. Then coming to the next is YouTube, owned by Google, the web's largest media site. This search will search through the videos of YouTube only. Then is the Find Sounds. This search engine finds any kind of sound files that is WAV, MP3, AIFF, AU search by the simple rate and quality. A great place to find sound effects. Then Ask Jeeves was designed to allow users to get answers to questions posed in everyday in natural language. Ask.com was the first such commercial question answering search engine for the web. Now search engines and their categories of resources. Search engine on internet have categorized the information sources on the basis of the type or the format. For example, Google categorizes the information sources as map, images, news, scholar, scholar papers and many more things. The details of these categories are available on the link we are showing you. Yahoo has categorized information in web, video, news and other local categories. Searching information on web under these categories has become effective using category specific search. A search was conducted using the feature of Google search engine to find the effectiveness of the engine in search output. The query was NIOS, Noida, India. The results are shown. This is where we are searching NIOS, Noida on a Google map. This is where it is showing us how, where the NIOS is placed on the Google map. This is again for the NIOS India only and where you can get the many more hits that's not on the map point of view where we can get the whatever are the papers whatever is the other information related to the NIOS you can get those information in these images. This is also related to NIOS where you can get the scholarly information information for the students this is the screenshot for that. Now all their terms in the string appeared in the text of these web pages are the analysis of these results show that as per the need of the search we should conduct category based search to get effective results the category should be decided on the basis of the need of the search if you need to search on for a map you can search for a map if you need to search for the images you can search for the images only or if you want some information about the institution you can search particularly for that search engines in vernacular languages. Now we are coming to the search engines on vernacular languages. Internet is the largest library in the world. If seen from the point of view of the library, there are hundreds and thousands of information sources available on internet in languages other than English. With the invention of Unicode, the web compatible documents are created in different languages and put on the web. Therefore, now the search engines are providing facility to search information using vernacular languages. 
for example, Google Co.in, which is a default page in India, provides search facilities in Hindi, Bengali, Telugu, Marathi, Tamil, Gujarati, Kannad, Punjabi, and many other languages other than the English. The effectiveness of the search engine can be evaluated by the people of the concerned language. The official blog of Google says that it provides search facility in 40 languages. Hence, people of different languages can use the search engines for finding information on internet in their own language. For getting the effective use from the search engine, a searcher should have the knowledge of behavior and the feature of the search engine. Almost all the search engines on the internet use operators as one or the other form. The operators, truncation signs, symbols or any other tools used by the search engine should be first understood by the searcher before designing the search query and then searching the information. The search process on internet can be best described in this diagram where we are showing you the, there are the seven points in this diagram which is showing us how we can start a search and how finally it should be given the shape. That is how the process starts. The process starts of searching information on internet is described in seven steps. Step one is the identify whole concept on which you want to conduct a search, choose some keywords, subject descriptors and or sentences and the type of information sources you are looking for. Then the second step is translate the concept term, phrases, their alternatives, associated terms or the subjects into the keywords. Third is select information domain to be searched like your library, OCLC, Lisa, PubMed or any suitable engine, search engine on the internet. Then identify operators and symbols used by the search engine of the information domain. Then five, fifth step is create a search string using operators and or connectors and conduct the search. Finally, on the sixth step, evaluate your result and if needed, modify your search string by choosing alternative terms. Expand the scope of the subject or the topic and put more parameters like date of publication, language, form, anything else can be put so that you get the provided information on the search engine. Then finally, present the search results in a user-friendly format. Till now, we have finished this lesson that was searching on the web. Now, what we have learnt in this uh, chapter is that internet has become the largest repository of the information in the world. It stores all the information in digital form. There are three main purposes of searching the information on internet. That's mainly navigational search, informational search and Transcational search. Simple search technique is a mechanism of finding information on internet for beginners in which one selects a search engine and enters a simple search query and searches the information. Advanced search technique is a mechanism where one can use operators and other parameters provided by the search engine to get the precise results. Boolean logic is the parameter where we put AND or NOT as operators to express the concept to be searched on in terms of the string. There are a large number of search engines on the internet where you can find your information according to your need. You can put your search strings according to the need you want. And that was all about the web search we were talking about. This is the last lesson of our library information science course. And thank you very much for being there with us for the whole lessons you have studied through with us. Thank you very much.